Hi, my name's Priya Vaughan and I'm a researcher at the Black Dog Institute at the University of New South Wales in Australia. My name is Catherine Boydell and I'm a professor of mental health and knowledge translation also working at the Black Dog Institute. And I'm Angela Dew, I'm a professor of disability and inclusion in the School of Health and Social Development at Deakin University. And we start by acknowledging the Gadigal, Bidjigal and Wurundjeri peoples who are the traditional owners and the custodians of the country that we're speaking from today. And we pay our respects to elders past, present and emerging and acknowledge that sovereignty was never ceded in these places. And we extend our acknowledgement and respect to the custodians of the countries that you are joining us from as well. Today we share some findings from the Women Marginalised by Mental Health, Disability or Refugee Background Project. Stigma and discrimination can have profound impacts on quality of life, health, employment and access to care. Intersectional experiences of stigma have been under-researched. Our project engaged 35 participants to learn about their intersectional experiences of stigma and discrimination as a result of mental illness and distress, disability or a refugee background. We used body mapping, an arts-based research method involving creating a life-size representation of your body, and paired that with semi-structured interviews to generate data. Lived experience knowledge was core to the project formation and operation with a lived experience advisory group and lived experience researchers co-facilitating data collection and analysis. For our participants, exposure to discrimination and stigma often resulted in experiences of self-stigma, internalised feelings of shame or disgust. Encountering often persistent discrimination shaped participants' sense of self on a visceral level. Participants described how they had internalised ableist or sanest views of their bodies and minds, how they blamed themselves when they were socially marginalised, and how they formed a view of themselves as defective, burdensome, broken, not normal or wounded. One participant summed up the situation aptly when she reflected, we are mirrored in your gaze. She explained, if I'd been treated or educated differently, I would have been able to respond better and self-advocate better and not inherited this idea of being defective. Part of my body map has been about me learning about myself, being mirrored back from the world I encounter. And if that world is judgmental, this is the kind of damaged self-image you'll develop, the mirroring at all levels. Our society, our family, our friends mirror back ourselves. That can de define our self-image. The impact of self-stigma is complex and diffuse. Apart from the impact on the self view outlined above, other direct impacts include participants feeling unable to seek help for their health, or having self-stigma confirmed in discriminatory encounters with providers or healthcare professionals, having their mental and physical health challenges compounded or exacerbated, or being prevented from leaving unsafe domestic situations, sometimes because they'd experienced gaslighting by their intimate partners. However, participants also use their body maps to reflect on their journey to recognising and discarding self-stigmatising attitudes. They told stories of powerful agency, recounting the many ways they'd flipped self-stigmatising narratives in order to act and advocate in ways that challenged prevailing ableist and sanest attitudes and then made tangible and positive outcomes for others. If you'd like to hear more from the extraordinary people who participated in this project, please scan the QR code to download our visual catalogue, which features the body maps and artist statements made during the course of the project. On the final page of the catalogue, there's a link to a short evaluative survey, so please do fill this out to help us learn more about the impact of arts-based research and knowledge translation. Thank you very much for watching our presentation, and we hope you enjoy the rest of the conference.